We know it is not easy to come to a new country, to have to learn a new language and new customs, and for some of you to experience our cold Canadian winters for the first time. It's Citizenship Week in Canada. Running until Sunday, the week's events include citizenship ceremonies and reaffirmation ceremonies across the country. Toronto kicked off the festivities at the CN Tower yesterday. The CN Tower has been a symbol of Canadian innovation and achievement for over 37 years. The event was hosted at Maple Leaf Cinema and included guest appearances from Toronto's Deputy Mayor Norm Kelly and Canada's Citizenship and Immigration Minister Chris Alexander. Rayon Cantlett says the decision to hold the ceremony at the CN Tower was an easy one. CN Tower is an iconic uh, landmark in Toronto and the Citizenship and Immigration is pleased to have a ceremony here. The one-hour ceremony was full of emotion as candidates took the oath of citizenship and sang the national anthem in both of Canada's official languages. Kelly told the new citizens that to be a resident of Toronto, there were two chants they needed to know. Go Leafs, go! Go Leafs, go! Go! We asked hospitality and tourism student Kaylee Ross what it meant to her to be a Canadian citizen. Um, I feel pretty lucky. Um, there's a lot of benefits, obviously, to being Canadian. I know a lot of people want to be Canadian and get their Canadian citizenship. Uh, I also have dual citizenship, so I feel even luckier. Andrea Hales was the clerk of the ceremony, the of the ceremony and assisted the, the citizenship judge. I have uh, participated in quite a good number of ceremonies. Unfortunately, I don't have the exact number, but um, this is my first official off-site ceremony. After receiving their certificates, Canada's newest citizens were given a complimentary tour of the CN Tower. This week, 4,400 people will become Canadian citizens in 58 ceremonies across Canada. Rachel Landry, Humber News.